gather here today in this beautiful place to celebrate the happiness Angie and Hoel have found together and the pledge of commitment which they choose now to make to one another. We come joyfully, mindful that it is indeed a miracle when two hearts meld as have these. It is often said that love is only true when it stands the test of time. The love that Angie and Hoel share is true indeed. For to each of them, the other is their first love, long parted and now reunited. They met and fell in love as young adults many years ago, but their paths took them in different directions. Life's journey has brought them back together again to find the love they once knew remains and grows ever stronger. Angie sees in Hoel this sincerity, charm, and kindness that attracted her to him in the first place. It has blossomed as their love has rekindled. Hoel sees in Angie the kindness, support, sweetness, and love, which also blossom as their love has rekindled. It is fitting that all of you are here to witness and participate in the consecration of their union. The ideals, understanding, and mutual respect that they bring to their marriage has roots in the love, friendship, and guidance that you have given them. Hoel and Angie are forever grateful for those whom they love and cherish, those who are here with us in body, and those who are here with us in spirit. For they know that it is the culmination of the love, wisdom, and support of many who make them who they are today. We hold a special place in our gathering today for Angie's mother, Magda, and father, Thomas, and we honor all they contributed to who she is today. The love and support of all of you gathered here will strengthen and nurture the love between this couple. A marriage not only joins two individuals, but their families as well, as each family welcomes into its midst a new member. It is appropriate that this union be celebrated here in the mountains of New Mexico, for there is great beauty and great power here. Yet for life to thrive in the mountains, it takes strength, endurance, and adaptability. So it is with marriage. In marriage, a couple must be strong for one another in times of strife. They must have devotion to one another and their union in order to endure the difficulties of life and they must adapt to the changes that life's journey will put before them. This is the commitment that Angie and Hoel make to one another today. Hoel and Angie, dedication, love, and happiness can only grow when you nourish them together. Stand fast in that hope and confidence, having faith in your shared future, just as strongly as you have faith in yourselves and in one another today. Only with this spirit can you forge a union that will strengthen and endure and endure all the days of your life. And I love Hoel. This is my time to express to you the depth of my love for you and my commitment to love you and be with you for the rest of my life. In my reconnection with you, I've experienced you to you give me so much joy with your love, kindness, understanding, wit, and intelligence. With these qualities, you have inspired me to become a better person. We do not know what love, what life has in store for us, but we have a great foundation on which to build, to build our future together. We must always be kind to each other and must meet each other halfway in every respect. We must try to understand each other even when it is difficult. That this is what I pledge to you, to continue to love you, to be your companion, wife, friend, and lover, to put our love first in my life, to always stand by you in good times and in bad, and to remain true and faithful to you in this union. Angie, life has given me the opportunity to tell you, here at this moment, my promises of love. Promises that will guide me, long-awaited promises. 
I vow to be me at all times and to respond to you creatively to any gesture of love you give me. I vow to be authentic and natural. I vow to know and understand your ways, your way of being. I vow to cultivate and develop our equality, our sensitivity, and our communication. I give you my strength, my faithfulness, and my discipline as witnessed by our family and friends. I vow to understand how to change when change is needed. I vow to use all of my senses to love you. Well, and Angie, are you ready to make your vows and be married? Yes. We are. Angie, repeat after me. Hoel, I give you my hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of And pledge my love, devotion, faith, and honor. And pledge my love, faith, and honor. As I join my life to yours. As I join my life to yours. From each sun to each moon. From each sun to each moon. From tomorrow to tomorrow. For now and for always. Well, repeat after me. Angie, I give you my hand and my heart. Angie, I give you my hand and my heart. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. As a sanctuary of warmth and peace. And pledge my love, devotion, <coughs> faith, and honor. And I pledge my love, devotion, and honor. As I join my life to yours. As I join my life to yours. From each sun to each moon. From each sun to each moon. From tomorrow to tomorrow. From tomorrow to tomorrow. For now and for always. For now and for always. Now that you have declared your love and promises to each other, please remember this wisdom. A marriage is more than love. It is more than vows. Marriage is a shared and blessed adventure. It is sharing your joy and your struggles. It is having enduring devotion even in times of strife. You must work together to grow and strengthen your bonds, holding them sacred above all else. Nurture and cherish your relationship. May we have the rings. symbol of an inner and spiritual relationship, that with no beginning and no end, the infinite realms of the deep, abiding, and eternal love that you have for one another. Well, place the ring on Angie's finger and holding it there, repeat after me. Angie, just as this circle is without ends, Angie, just as this circle is without end, my love for you is eternal. My love for you is eternal. Angie, place the ring on Hoel's finger, and holding it there, repeat after me. Hoel, just as this circle is without ends, my love for you is eternal. Hoel and Angie, in this ceremony, you are joined by your friends and families to witness your love and the opening of your hearts. You have come to marriage with knowledge and intention aware of the joys and the responsibilities of such a bonding. You have, you have come to marriage each a full individual, <coughs> independent and whole, but ready to discover who you are together. <coughs> your love, your commitment, and your intention have married you here before us today, and upon your union we bestow blessings and joy. This silken cord represents the love and protection of your marriage, <coughs> gentle, yet strong and unifying. Let your love entwine you, but never entangle you. Let the protection you give one another never stifle you, but always embrace you. Now for you there is no rain, for each of you will be shelter to the other. 
Now for you there is no burning sun, for one gives cover to the other. Now for you there is no hard and no bad, for the hardness and the badness is taken by one for the other. And now the cold is ended always, for each of you will be warmth to the other. And it is that way from now on. Now there is always food, there is always drink, there is always comfort. And now forever there is no loneliness, for each of you will be companion to the other. You remain two persons, but there is only one life before you. Go now to your dwelling place to enter into the days of your togetherness. And may your days be good and long upon the earth. And may you walk together forever. And There have been many stories explaining the breaking of the glass. For those of us here today, it serves to remind us of several important aspects of marriage. The bride and groom and everyone who knows them should consider these marriage vows an irrevocable act, just as permanent and final as the breaking of this glass is unchangeable. The shattered glass also reminds us how fragile life and love can be that sometimes a single thoughtless act, breach of trust, or marital misstep can damage a marriage in ways that are very difficult to undo, just as it would be difficult to undo the breaking of this glass. In a moment, Coel will break the glass, signifying the end of the ceremony and the time for celebration. Coel and Angie, I now pronounce you husband and one.